the time is here everything you have accomplished up until this point y'all you have finally got it done y'all and it's time to leave for basic training will it be too easy will it be too challenging will i like my drill sergeants will i make some friends will i regret my decision how am i going to be away from my family how am i going to get used to the food how am i going to get used to being away from society and being trained and getting adapted to whatever i'm walking into what's up youtube so i'm back with another video and starting today is my first military monday video you can expect to see military related content every monday from me now when it comes to other content i am planning to upload at least twice a week i do not have set days yet but i am in the process of getting those type of things implemented so you can know what to expect from me and when you can expect from me okay i just want to remind y'all if you want to see more from me if you like what you have been seeing from me so far you have to make sure you are engaging and interacting with me that means liking my videos that means making sure you're subscribed that means making sure you're commenting in the comment section that means all around interacting with me y'all so i can have that motivation and i can have that discipline to keep bringing you more content and also youtube can continue to push my videos out if you have any questions for me if you have any advice that you're in need of make sure you follow me on my social media on instagram it is kiana p underscore and on snapchat it is just kiana p yes y'all in this video i am here to relieve any mental anxiety that you may be experiencing before you ship off to basic training whether you're leaving for the army the air force the navy the marines the coast guard whatever branch you're leaving for y'all i guarantee you're gonna take something from this video i know right now you might be feeling stressed you might be feeling anxious you might be regretting your decision you or you might be super excited super ready to get started super ready to be on the road to your military career well that's all fine y'all because i I know at the end of it you still have some questions and you still are battling whatever your brain is thinking about the situation because at the end of the day you are walking into the unknown and what comes with the unknown is your brain is going to overthink about the situation your brain is going to form its own answers and that causes your emotions and everything else to be completely all over the place because you have no idea what you're about to walk into most of us that you see on youtube with the military background have been there and you see we're still here we're still looking lively we're still the whole nine okay so as you can see you will survive and i just want to tackle some things because i know it needs to be addressed and it will be addressed starting now you need to apply yourself this is a big step you have officially became the one percent because you got through everything that it took to get to this point y'all you had to literally persuade your family and friends that this was the right decision for you you had to literally go and scout out recruiters or for some of us get hounded down by recruiters you had to meet heightened weight requirements you had to get in shape to pass the new fitness requirements you had to score high on your ASVAB you had to get through the long and tedious process of maps you had to get some waivers you had to do a lot to get to this point and you should feel good you'll finally be wearing the uniform but remember y'all this part in the very beginning is going to be the hardest part i guarantee you after you get past this part everything else is going to be a breeze it's going to be over just like that most of you will make it through just fine now how the statistics are set up yes some people won't but i guarantee you if you are watching this video right now it's because you're a go-getter you are doing your research you are getting your information you are doing whatever it is you need to do to be fully prepared for basic training that's how i was that's how a lot of go-getter and determined soldiers were before they got started and i guarantee you if you keep that mind state if you continue to be just how you are now you are going to go into basic training make it all the way through without any issues and come out as a top tier soldier so do not let being nervous trick you into thinking
thinking that you are not ready and that you are not prepared enough. Trust me, you are prepared enough and it's not any amount of preparing that you can do to know what exactly you're about to step into. I'm gonna be honest, it is a different ball game, but that's why we're having this conversation right now. If you are worried about being away from home, yes, it is gonna hurt not talking to your people for a while. I know that some of you are coming in with kids, some of you are coming in married, some of you are leaving from home for the very first time. But trust me, you are gonna be so wrapped up in the process that yes, you might initially think about them, but as time goes on, you'll be so caught up in what's going on that you can't even think about what's going on, y'all. You won't have the time to sit there and think about what everybody is doing back home. They won't allow you to have that type of time. Remember, things have changed these days because when I went in, COVID was going on, so we did not get a chance to look forward to a graduation. But from what I'm hearing right now, you will have a graduation and your family will be waiting on you at the finish line. And that is gonna give you even more motivation to get through it. If you are worried about the physical requirements, it's a such thing called initial conditioning. And what that is, is the army has to get you accustomed to doing physical workouts and requirements that are the army's way of doing it. So whatever you are used to doing or not doing before you join, it really doesn't matter because they're gonna teach you and they're gonna train you how to be physically ready. So do not worry about that. That's why you have been preparing and getting in shape right now. And you're gonna come in and you're gonna show your ass off and they're gonna be like, yes, they've been on a shit before they even came All right i know you're probably thinking i know it won't be easy but i definitely don't want it to be too hard and i guarantee you if you have been through anything even remotely difficult in your life this is not going to even probably even match up to that i guarantee you have been through harder things in your life most of the time i kept a straight face it's very easy to get through it y'all being your normal regular self without truly breaking down to the ground and feeling like oh my gosh i don't know what i just stepped into most people in there y'all we were a-okay all right so it will not be too difficult it's only as difficult as you allow it to be okay kp so you're persuading me so far but what about friends will i make friends am i too old coming in why even be interested in somebody in there and yes y'all even the most stubborn gifts of people like myself the most introverted of people will hit it off with at least someone it's somebody coming in from all over the world like probably somebody coming in from where you're from you never know and it's gonna be somebody that you at least feel comfortable talking to at least to wait it out until it's time to get out of there and if not even during basic training y'all I have some people that I met in basic training we honestly didn't even start talking until these days y'all time has came and went and we finally have made a relationship and been reaching out to each other long after basic training all right okay people what about the drill sergeants I hear so much about how hard they are on soldiers how they are scary and all these other perceptions that you might be hearing about drill sergeants well let me just tell you right now and i know you already heard this drill sergeants are a regular diggler people they're literally going to be playing a game and i know you have already heard this but that is true they're coming in and they are having fun with you they probably ain't never had this type of power in their life and to see scared little privates and people coming in that have never been yelled at before or never even been told to do things they don't want to do y'all they're gonna have a blast with you and just remember y'all yeah they might be acting like that with you when you see them during training but as soon as they leave from work they're gonna go home and be normal again go out to eat with their family do whatever they want to do and guess what as soon as they come back into training where you are as a as a soldier they're gonna put that mask back on and they're gonna be yeah, rah 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 again and then they're gonna take it back off they're gonna laugh like ah that was so fun best was us ah, i can't wait to go mess with him tomorrow come back mess with you again and that's pretty much what it is y'all they're literally just having fun with you and you being stuck in there without any access to the outside world you won't be able to notice that because you can't see anything else outside of what is going on at that moment and as time goes on you will see them start letting their guard down playing some more and just being a little bit more nicer because now they see okay if you made it up until this point okay we really don't got nothing to mess with them about it's a guarantee they're more than likely going to graduate and yes 
they probably will have their favorites but to be honest don't even they don't even matter like just get in and out because you got a long road ahead of you so most of the time their favorites are people that have been diehard military people coming in and they know everything military super on point the whole nine y'all i'm telling you right now if you notice it you observe it just say hey kp said it so you don't have to take it to heart if you are not coming off as that soldier to them you heard that i mentioned that you're not going to have access to the outside world right well yes when you first get started y'all this is going to take a lot of getting used to because you're not going to have any access to personal things that you might have had before coming in so music food you want to eat just talking to people when you get ready all the luxuries we have in life y'all that will be taken away from you you will be stripped of those things and it is going to be hard y'all because it's going to feel like you're just in this this small little world that nobody knows what's going on nobody to talk to but the thing is y'all when you get out after graduating you will appreciate those things much more your food again your music again talking to your people at least for the first two months after getting out being away from it for so long will make you a little nervous but just look around to all the other people that are also going through the exact same experience as you consoling them talk to them that's your opportunity to really learn how to talk to people get to know people don't be to yourself don't be afraid to meet and mingle with new people don't cluster with people you're used to talking to because i guarantee you is somebody in there that you will take a liking to if you just branch out and at least keep an open mind so i do want to be honest getting started y'all it will start off very slow because this is where they are teaching you the basics of being a soldier so your regulations your drilling ceremony your military bearing all those things y'all they have to ingrain in you and strip the civilian away from you so if you have not come in with a military background it is going to take some getting used to you will get confused a lot you'll forget oh when do I say at ease oh when do I say attention da 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 that stuff is a part of the process y'all but you will get to the exciting stuff soon you know I tell people when white phase comes that's when it's go mode y'all you're gonna be going to the range you're gonna be doing all the things to prepare for the ATX the forage all the things that are the big summation of your entire basic training experience y'all you're gonna be constantly moving you won't have time to think about it when you get to that stage y'all so yes even if it takes you just getting used to the first four weeks write that down on your calendar the first four weeks i just gotta get through it after that y'all it's gonna be going by so fast you're gonna be so tired and you're gonna be just doing whatever the hell you gotta do to get up out of there and whatever they expect from you you're gonna be like yep what you need done 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 all right next at last but not least will you regret your decision to join once you get to basic training y'all i'm telling you right now you have so much ahead of you than basic training you literally have to get to ai in your first duty station and those experiences differ like so greatly just off of those two different periods y'all it's two different goals two different missions so that is not a question that you will be able to find the answer to at that time now yes do some people get in basic training and they like oh hell no i see from day one this ain't for me uh-uh i'm gonna get out while i can but for the regular person y'all you're gonna get through it don't put that type of pressure on you right now except this new change that's happening in your life accept and embrace it y'all that you are finally entering down a new path and if it helps y'all i literally racked up about a good eight ten thousand in basic training because your yes you ain't spending no money so if you can't look forward to anything else please look forward to what your bank account gonna look like when you get out my final words of advice to y'all my final words of encouragement to y'all is to document your experience y'all you are gonna feel so good when you look back at what you went through and how you got through it y'all and it's gonna be a testimony to the next soldier that are gonna end up watching my video that are gonna come in after you y'all also remember that you will be getting a chance to write to your people every day you will always be getting a chance to let them know that you're thinking about them and they'll also get a chance to write to you back make sure you are looking after people y'all that you see that are not able to get through basic training as easily as you are make sure that they are getting the help that they need and making sure you are also also getting the help that you need don't neglect your mental health while you're in there because you still have resources and access to get the help that you need and last but not 
least enjoy the experience y'all remember this experience is going to be as exciting as you make it and just think of it as a story that you're going to have to tell your kids and what do you want to tell them you want to tell them how you were so badass in basic training or do you want to tell them a not so great story you know whatever you want your experience to be y'all you have the power to make it and i just say i'll see you on the other side okay so that is it for the rest of the video y'all if you like this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section make sure that you like the video and you are sharing the video if you think that somebody else might find this video helpful and make sure you are subscribed okay so i can continue to bring you more videos once again follow me on my social media instagram is kiona p underscore and my snapchat is just kiona p okay so i will see y'all for my next video stay tuned